Welcome to Behind the Scenes with UiPath. Today we're at IA Week here in Chicago and I had the opportunity to catch up with one of our partners, K2, Hi. David yep. Kroll. Yep. How are you? Good, how are you? Uh, glad to have you. Thank you for taking some time. I know it's busy, a lot of customers rolling around. Oh, yeah. Booths have been fantastically busy, which I it like, does. so pretty good show. Um, give me an idea of our partnership first, just mm -hmm. so our customers know. What's K2 doing and, and how do you integrate with RPA and UiPath? Give me kind of an overview for Absolutely, absolutely. So with K2, what we typically see is it's the entire process end-to-end -end holistically. Okay. And what where we, where we typically find UiPath and RPA coming into play is within specific tasks inside of an overall workflow process. Okay. This may be the initiation of a robot to do a particular task. It may be the OCR, the image capture, the, you know, the file capture at the front of the process that's going to distribute that into data for later on, you know, for use okay. later on in the process. So you're really helping, I mean, I could have multiple tasks, I could have multiple robots, stitching all of that together. Correct. Is it allowing and, that? And really handling the, you know, what happens when scenario, okay. right? So the, the, the conditional capabilities, you know, maybe it needs to go one route or another, or maybe it needs to go and fire two robots at the same time, wait for them to complete before it moves on to the next step. So you get this whole concept where you're actually timing everything together. And like you said, stitching it together into the overall overall process. It's weaving in both robotic as well as human decisions to solve the problem. Interesting. Yeah. Now, when we think about automation, how do you feel our, your customers and our customers and the industry in general, mm -hmm. how, how are they taking this automation first mindset? I mean, again, it's, it's a new thought yeah. process, right? If I think of something, can I automate it? Can I not automate it? Right. How do you feel we're helping doing that as a partnership? You know, it's interesting. I think I think a lot of customers think we can't automate things that we can, right? Yeah. And 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 you know, I've seen this a lot. Of the, I've actually I worked at a K two customer for eight years, okay. and I saw the processes come in. I saw the requirements come in, and I remember thinking, there's there's just no way we can do yeah. that. There's no way we can handle this this problem. And then you know, lo and behold, three to four months later, we had solved that problem, yeah. right? And we were on to the next big you know, event that, yeah. that we had to tackle. Uh, and so what, what I'm really uh, excited about when it comes to working with UiPath is breaking down even more of those barriers, right? And, yeah. and, 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 and being able to take, you know, this, this, this massive workflow and go through the entire thing have robots handling some of the most difficult tasks that our users would be spending the most amount of time doing, which for us is great because that means the workflow gets done faster, right? It, we're, we're here to make sure that you guys can execute your workflows faster, right? Not only build them and get them out the door, but also that your end users have a really good experience, right? And that's where really I see UiPath and K2 coming together to solve the problems. So give me a detailed, if you can, a little more detailed example of Say a process or an example from a customer, just so we have an idea of what could be what's mm -hmm. capable, right? Because some yeah. people don't think we can do what we actually can do. Absolutely, I've seen some really interesting examples around, you know, the, the, the classic invoice processing yeah. scenario, right, where you're you're getting some sort of uh, file or receipt, uh, and you need to take that data and, sh and actually structure it, and then make decisions and routing off of that. Maybe yeah. you need to involve a certain level of approval if this invoice is over a certain dollar amount, right? So you, you run into these different situations where you're gonna to need to involve different departments, you're gonna to need to involve different parties in these different scenarios. And so that's really where I see K2 uh, and UiPath coming together. Now from an RPA perspective, there's a lot of different vendors out there doing RPA, as we would say. I mean, why do you feel that our partnership is uh, successful? Yeah, no, it's it's really interesting. You know, I, I, I think that the way that I had looked at K2 solving problems for so long was let's assign the task to the human, right? So that they can make that decision. Okay. And, and when I look at what UiPath has added to, to K2, it's that, okay, now we can we can assign that task, but instead of assigning it to a human, we can now assign that to a robot, right? Gotcha. So that so yeah. that happens faster. Yeah. And again, yeah. it's all about it's all about streamlining the process end to end, making it actually intelligent, making it call into AI, making it call into cognitive services, doing those different predictions, yeah. passing that mathematical model, and and streamlining that entire process end to end. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. You mentioned AI. Yes. We're, we're at the Intelligent Automation Conference. Mm -hmm. Define AI for me from, from your perspective, right? I yeah. always like to ask, like, when it's always different, right? <laughs> so define what you think, you know, what, yeah. what are your guys are defining as? Absolutely. So when, when I think about artificial intelligence, I really, you know, 
when you when you break it down, there's a lot of really complex models out there that you know they require a PhD to even understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and so really, what we look at is there's a lot of different tools out there. I see AI as another tool that can be used by an organization. You don't need to completely fully understand AI to, to leverage it and to find value out of it. And I think a lot of people get you know a little intimidated when they hear the terms AI and machine learning and you know cognitive scary. services. Like, well, what, what's going on? I want it, but it's scary. Right, right exactly, but. It, it, it's actually so much more simple than that. You know, you can have cognitive services that just simply detects, you know, content moderation to decide if this is something that we should actually post into our social media, right? And it's 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 not this this crazy complex thing that you have to you know be afraid of. Yeah. It's it's something that you can use um, right out of the gate with a few simple connections and configurations. It's already pre-built. It's already established. The algorithms are already there. We're just leveraging. Wow, very interesting concept yeah. on that. It seems like K2 is doing a lot. I, I'll look forward to doing some other stuff with you guys. I think oh, we yeah. should do a webinar together with a customer. I think that's Absolutely. our next step. Yeah. Show some real stuff of what they can do. That would be guys, wonderful. Because again, it's it's having a human in a loop, being able to do stuff with robots, with actually and stitching all of this together, huge important on the process, right? Absolutely. Allows us to do even more automation and you, more you integration. Talk, you talk about auditing, you talk about reporting, being able to track this process end to end. How long did these steps take? Who is it waiting on? You know, these things are really important to businesses and, and we're, we're here to optimize that and make that as easy as possible. Especially as we talked this week about COEs, mm -hmm. making sure your processes are online, making yep. sure everything's running as we kind of scale to a bigger RPAs. Very, very little implementation so far in our mind, mm -hmm. one to 2%, but we're scaling out with all of our customers. Absolutely, so, we're ready well, to create a way. Thank you for your time, I yep. appreciate it. Hopefully we have a good conference and we'll do more later. Guys, if you need more information, of course, you can go to the K2 website, but also the UI Path website with our strategic uh, marketing accounts. Um, if you want to know where we're going to be next in your city, UI Path forward slash events, you can find out where we're going to be there, and we'll catch up with you later. Thanks Thank you. again. Yep, thanks. Bye-bye.